Okay, the bus is gone. Come on, Henry. Let's go do your walk. Oh, happy Tuesday. Yesterday I did a class all day on my phone, um, a webinar for continuing ed. I think I have one more small class to do, but I need to go to the doctor because my elbow, <laughs> not only have I, uh, my left elbow seems like it has either like cellulitis or some kind of bursitis or something, it's crazy pain. <laughs> anyway. Okay, hi. <laughs> it's Tuesday. I'm heading over to work for a little while. Oh, my phone's ringing. Oh, I don't know who that was. Ah, how's everybody today? It's about 12. I'm heading over to work for a few hours. Uh, I had a hard time this morning. I was just still not feeling myself. I'm having like a weird issue. <laughs> So crazy my left elbow and I don't know sometimes my um, joints hurt because of the fibro but this morning I had the nurse look at it and the elbow looks really swollen and red and so and it really hurts <laughs> so I took a bunch of Advil I'm gonna go over to work because I have to do a couple of things there and pick up a few things that I can work on at home. And then I'm gonna see if I can get an appointment to have it checked out. I'm actually going to the OBGYN tomorrow for my annual visit and mammogram. And this is the big year, guys, because every year my, my doctor, she's so funny, she'll say to me, oh, colonoscopy at 50. <laughs> When you're 50, we're going to schedule it. So I'm sure we're going to talk about that tomorrow. That's all another whole thing. But it's important to do these tests, you know. I started having mammograms when I was 32. So kind of, anyhow, I'm a big advocate of that anyway, since that is what my husband does for a living. He did, He's an engineer for the uh, digital equipment for mammography and bone scanning. As a matter of fact, he's down in Costa Rica right now at one of their plants, doing something there. I'm not sure what, but he's in a nice place. And by the time you see this video, he will be back. So everyone's like, oh, don't tell people that your husband's away. But you know what? He's away. And by the time I catch up to this video, I'll be back home again. So why not? So he's traveling. Interesting without him here. But I'm just, I just, it's like, really? Elbow? I don't have time for elbow pain. I need to decorate for Christmas. <laughs> I've been carrying up all my stuff. I would, it was just too stressful for me to figure out. I'd have to pick him up and get him home. And he has an appointment on Thursday to have his baclofen pump refilled. So we have a lot on the calendar already. And I'm by myself. So yeah. Uh, the other thing is Thomas, you know, he's he's so talented. He plays the Barry sax and he's in the jazz band. And he just loves to play jazz Barry and he's always played jazz Barry. And this year I guess they don't have a bass guitar player. And uh, I guess the teacher wants him to play bass guitar in gold jazz band. And Thomas, you know, he's willing to do it. But he felt real sad. He got in the car yesterday. He's just, he's just really, really disappointed because Jazz Barry is his thing. That's his thing. That's his passion. That's his instrument. That's, that's his joy. I mean, he plays bass guitar because he, you know, doesn't mind it. But I guess they don't have anyone else because, I don't know, the kid, one kid isn't good enough and one kid fell through because he couldn't read music and then, I don't know. So somebody else is going to play Jazz Barry and... Thomas looked at me, he's like, Mom, we need to find something outside of school because I want to play. 
You know, I want to do stuff. I want to do more. I, I don't. He wants to play the instrument that he loves and, the, and that got him into the band in the first place. You know, he auditioned on Barry Sachs. That's his thing. So I feel bad for him. You know, I know they 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 want to. They want to compete, so they need someone to play all the instruments. But it really stinks when you take your best Barry player and you kind of coerce him into playing bass guitar. And then someone else is playing Barry, you know? I don't know. It just doesn't seem fair to Thomas. Just because he played... He, he seemed very disappointed yesterday, and he loves jazz. And he loves playing that Barry and loves playing that tenor. And so... I'm trying to do some research to see what I can do, what I can find. We're going to a jazz concert on Saturday. Yeah, so I told Thomas I would do everything I could to find something else. And it's just disappointing. So it kind of stinks for him. But he's still he's so easygoing and so willing to help that he, he probably would never complain to his teacher's face, he'd be like, yeah, okay, I'll play the bass guitar. <laughs> That's not what he wants to do. And why is that fair? And he auditioned on Barry. I feel bad for him, because he looks so sad. <laughs> and he works so hard, like, loves the music so much. Just back home again. Picked up Thomas. He has to go back to school in a few minutes for jazz band. So we're gonna have for dinner a uh, pizza and a salad, I think we have. Do you want cheese, pepperoni, or meat? Meat. I'm gonna do one of these. This is the house favorite with a salad. We must have a salad. Salad. The other thing uh, we have, which might be a little big on him, but it's like a really soft fleece hat. Oh, that's nice. Let's see if it fits you. We picked that up the other day at Bob's when we were out shopping for John. Oh, yeah. No, that's a fleece. Yeah, it's nice. Is that warm and soft so it's not itchy? It's really warm. You like it? I know you don't need it on right now. I'm just trying it on your head. See? Let me get you this. I can't find all your hats all the time. Hats disappear. Woof. What are you doing? Superman. Superman. I hope we have a delay tomorrow. Mm hmm Because then I don't have to I can I can drive Thomas to school and he doesn't have to take the bus. Oh. Doesn't have to take the bus. Got you. Is it Tom? That says he's stuck. Is Tom stuck? Were you playing Tom? Daniel. Hello. I gotta make you a hair appointment. I'm sorry, Judy. I know you like his hair long, but everyone in school is liking it. I know, but look at it. It's like sticking straight up. I know, but if it just gets every everybody goes through that stage in growth. I'm Mr. Heat Miser. I know, because today you had a giant fat head. Uh, I could no matter what, I couldn't get rid of it. I'll see. Hey, even Tom said so. John doesn't like it. He doesn't. I don't know if I can get this over to you, Dan. I'm sorry. Hi. Maybe you can get Dan over to it. Well, Henry, get out of the garbage. Come on. We gotta go outside. Come on. Come on. I know. I'm only one person. <laughs> Trying to be everybody's everything. I know. Dealing with this issue and that issue and my own issues and keeping you warm and keeping you fed and taking care of you guys. Come on. Look at this. You cold, Theo? <laughs> He's laying on an old, dirty tablecloth on the floor. Theo, <laughs> is that close to the heater? Is that why? Come on, Henry. I'll have to make a fire tomorrow, maybe. 
for home. I have a lot going on. I gotta go to the doctor tomorrow. I'm not happy about it. Eh. All right, Henry, let's go outside. Oh, uh, what? It'll be a quick day. A quick day, yeah. We got ourselves a little weather happening this morning. 